Hi guys, thanks for joining me on Sean's Tech Reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing a yawn tab. And this yawn tab, uh, it's two in one, half laptop, half tablet. It is coming from Shenzhen Wave Multimedia. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to them for donating this beautiful laptop to us for review. Uh, yeah, without further ado, I know you've all been waiting for it. Let's check it out and see what it's made of. So I've already got, taken the power cord out and uh, I had it charging for a few minutes just to, I wanted to make sure that it had some power when I showed you guys what it was like. So, this is a box that came in. It's got a nice little handle on it to carry it around. It's got the logo for yuntab.com. Comes with Windows 10 on it. It's an 11.6 screen. It's an Intel CPU. Um, it's got dual cameras. Inside, it's got a 64-bit uh, quad-core processor. Along with two gigs of RAM <clears throat> and a 32 gigabyte solid state hard drive. I'm absolutely impressed with this. Like, I think it's just so amazing. Um, you know, e everything seems to run very nicely. So we're still charging, uh, still loading up here. I'm just turning it on. Okay, beautiful. We're already loaded. So now, now I was only charging this for probably about a half an hour. And we uh, were able to charge that to 91% battery. That's pretty darn decent, I think. And it doesn't uh, show you an estimated time yet, but... Oh, there we go. Estimated time is 5 hours and 8 minutes remaining on with the battery saver on. That's pretty decent. Um, now, of course, we can, you know... Scale down the light screen, the light, uh, how bright the screen is. Um, I haven't checked out, like, basically anything inside it and how well it performs or anything. But, I mean, it doesn't seem to be lagging out at all. It seems like everything's really responsive. Overall, I'm really impressed with just, you know, the build of it. I mean, it seems so solid. Um, it's very much like a playbook, um, or sorry, like, um, like a, a Surface Pro is what I was thinking. It's very much like a Surface Pro. Um, to take it apart, guys, like, this is so cool. Literally, all you have to do is this. You just pick it up, and it separates right from the keyboard, and literally... It is touch, and, like, everything's really responsive. Always ask me before switching, do you want to switch to tablet mode? Click no. I mean, I guess we could. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> I guess you can see more on tablet mode. Maybe when it is a tablet, I'm not exactly sure the difference between tablet mode and desktop mode. But, I mean, it's so cool. So, for graphics properties, I wonder what it's got for a display card. So, display adapter properties. Wow, 128 megabyte dedicated video in a tablet. That's pretty decent, I would think. <clears throat> and I'm not sure what games you can play with that, but I mean, you could definitely rock out some... Hardcore PUBG, I would think for sure. 
you know, you know, it's not gonna play any high end games or anything. But I mean, we didn't ex expect that from from a tablet, right? But definitely, it's gonna play like most of the Play Store games or something. I mean, um, you know, I mean, we'll have to uh, put an emulator on here so that it can run the Android Play Store games. But I'm sure we can figure it out without too much problem. Oh no, it's definitely pretty cool. <clears throat> it would be cooler if it was a dual boot and it had the option to boot with like Android or Windows 10. That would definitely be cool. However, the fact that it is running Windows 10 and it's touch, like there's no no lag at all. Everything is just running very nicely. Um, more saving options. That's the battery life, guys. It's got lots of power. Power saving options. It's got on-screen keyboard. And of course, why wouldn't it when it's touchscreen tablet, right? Anyways, guys, absolutely incredible. We'd like to thank the seller again for making this beautiful Eon tab possible to review for them. Um, all in all, I would say that it's th these are definitely uh, well built and going to be well worth the buy. The keyboard itself is very heavy, very sturdy. Not overly heavy, but it's sturdy, right? And that, that's what you want in a, in a keyboard that's for a tablet. You don't want a flimsy keyboard that's always just going to, you know, bit break and bend. You want something that's going to be able to last. And that is definitely built like it's going to last. The magnets in it are very strong so that when you <clears throat> set the tablet back onto the keyboard, you're making sure that it's set back in the proper spot. You probably aren't going to have to worry about it sliding out or anything like that. I mean, look at that, guys. So, I mean, I'm going to let go there. So, that's definitely pretty good. You know, it just shows that it's, it's going to hold its own weight and stuff, you know. And there's not going to be any issues there. Definitely pretty cool. the sound hack in this guy because it's on a tablet I'm not sure but I know on a computer there's a little sound hack to allow you to adjust the sound a little bit louder than what it's uh, supposed to be it's just like a sound enhancement type deal I'm just wondering if this has got that or not so I'm just gonna go open volume mixer and then we'll click on the little box here. And then we'll go to advanced. Oh no, eh? Doesn't look like it has it, that's too bad. Um, system effects. And we'll speak of equalizer. Levels. General. Hmm. That's odd.
Well, it's unfortunate that uh, it doesn't have an option to crank up the sound any louder, but <clears throat> it's still pretty good. I mean, if we really wanted to boost it up, well, I'm sure we could download a sound booster off the internet, <clears throat> but I don't think there's any need to do that. Sorry, guys, my throat's really scratchy. I'm catching a bit of a cold. Let's check out the camera, see what that's like. So I'm not exactly sure how to get the camera to turn on. Hmm. Well, usually there's like a, a quick cam thing that you can test the cam with, but it doesn't seem to be here on this for some reason. Hmm. It says use the camera to create an account. But I wonder if we can access the camera there. Okay. That one is camera access your precise location. Let's turn that off right now. We don't need that. Okay, so that's not accessing the front camera, guys. That's pretty good. Decent. It's a little dark, but it's pretty dark in this room. The lighting quality isn't that great at all. Um, but I mean, overall, the picture quality on there is pretty nice. It's actually also has the back camera. And we can definitely... Um, Have a quick look to see what's going on there. So that camera is pretty cool. Pretty good. All in all, guys, this is a pretty sweet laptop for ports. It's got an SD port, it's got an HDMI port. Uh, sorry, it's micro or yeah, micro HDMI port. It's got uh, micro USB, and of course, it's got your power cord. Aside from micro USB, but I'm, I believe you can charge it with micro USB as well. Um, so definitely <clears throat> a pretty cool tablet. I love that you can just take it off and you know you don't have to worry about too much it's got a pretty easy connect and easy disconnect feature i just love that absolutely awesome working just great And, you know, it uh, also has a USB there. 
So, so it does have USB as well, guys, which is pretty cool. Definitely a pretty cool tablet. We're going to go ahead and put the buy link in the description uh, so that you guys can go ahead and check it out and get one yourself if you choose. They are definitely pretty cool. Um, I would recommend it. I mean, they seem to be well built and uh, they're very quick for what they are. Uh, I'm definitely impressed. The color on the screen is great. I just, uh, I don't have anything bad to say about it at all. Uh, way to go, Yontab. Thanks very much for watching, guys. This is Sean signing off on Tech Reviews. Please remember to share, like, and subscribe on our YouTube videos as well as sharing the group, liking and subscribing there as well. Thanks so much, guys, again. Take care. Sean signing off on Tech Reviews. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.